Hey everyone. In this video, I'm going to cover using Ginger 2 templates with FastAPI. The first thing to do is to set up a FastAPI app. I've got an empty directory, I just have a virtual environment set up. So the first thing to do is to install FastAPI and Ubicom. And then I'm just going to set up a standard sort of Hello World API using FastAPI. So I'll create an app file and import FastAPI and Ubicom. Then I'll create an instance of the app and add a route to say hello. And finally add Ubicom to run the app. Now we can start adding the templates, so we need to install Ginger 2. And we need to create a templates folder. Then in there we'll add a HTML file for a template. We'll start basic and just have the template render with an argument. Here we're just having the template render an ID parameter into a paragraph in the body. Now if we go back to the app, we can start making use of the template. First, we need to update our imports. And then we can create an instance of Ginger 2 templates, passing in the directory we created earlier. Then we can add another route to render the template. Here we're telling it which file to load, item.html. Remember, we've already provided the directory of the templates earlier, and we pass through the required parameters. We have to pass through the request, and then we can supply any additional parameters. The template we created only has an ID value, so we just need to pass that through. Now if we run the app and open the route, we can see the ID value rendered with the value from the path. Next, we need to handle static files. If you want to include any CSS, images, etc. for your templates, then this will be needed. First, we need to install AIO files. Then I'm going to create a static folder. And in there, I'll add a CSS file and an image. I'm just going to add some basic CSS so we can see this working. This is just going to make a heading red and center the text and center images. We'll make use of these in our item template. First, we need to mount the static files. So we update our imports to bring in static files. And then we can use that to mount the files on our app. This makes static files available to use. So the last part is to update the template to bring them in. I'm going to bring in the CSS file in the head of our page and I'll bring in the image in the body. For both of these, we generate the source location using URL4. The first parameter, static, is the name we gave when mounting the files, not the path to the static files. The second parameter is the file we want to load. Now, if we run the app again and navigate to the page, we can see that our heading is now red and that the image is rendered, so our static files are working. And that's how to use Ginger templates in your fast API app. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.